My name is Sarah. I'm the Community Engagement Administrator for Durham County Library. Today we're going to continue our mini-series exploration of experiencing art through our senses. For the next few minutes, blind artist John Bramblett and art expert Jackie Siri will be leading us through the sense of sound and how it can be used to experience art. One of my favorite sounds in the whole wide world is the sound of the waves hitting the sand. To this day, it calms me like nothing else will. Is there anything you love to hear? Let's take a look at how we can use sound to experience art. Well, welcome back guys. I'm excited about this week. We are talking about sound and how that can be used to influence your art and how you can think about it while you're taking in art and enjoying it. You know, and I say this every week, but I think this week it is my favorite because, you know, it's about music and all that. And, and you know, whenever we think about music, we think about it being art for the ears, mm -hmm. but it can also, you can, you can take that and actually make visual art with it. You know, in my studio, um, you can't see it, but there's actually these giant speakers all around. And it's like the setup for a small club because whenever I paint, I like to play music and I like to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, I think it's interesting how um, different businesses will use music. Oh my goodness, isn't that the truth? I don't know if you've ever been in a restaurant, but you, you hear crowd noises, but the restaurant is empty. There's actually some restaurants that, that will play noises of, of diners eating and, and people having a good time in the restaurant just to encourage more people to, to, to walk in. Yeah, so music basically can really influence your impression of something. That's right, you know, and there's even sound artists who, who, who like, automobile manufacturers will hire them because you know the sound that a door makes when it closes that doesn't sound that way by accident you know yeah. there, there's actual sound artists that will that will design the door so that it makes that thump sort of sound you know and they'll and different car manufacturers like different sounds yeah and the clicks for a button you know if it's like a like um like for your cd or your computer or your phone and it'll make different clicking sounds or different noises there are sound artists that spend their careers figuring out the right sounds for those kinds of things it just blows my mind i know and if you think about it like for movie sets and mm. um cinema you know all of that isn't just ambient noise that they've recorded because it happened in the scene every tiny bit of it is pre-recorded and then spliced in. So. I completely forgot about that. Fo Foley artists, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, they make this little, the sounds of the walking and everything. That's, that's that's incredible. You know, and then there's also other visual artists. I'm not the only painter that uses music whenever I paint. You know, there's been famous painters in the past, like Mondrian, um, Klee, um, let me think, Matisse. Oh, yeah, yeah. And also, uh, Kandinsky? Kandinsky, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Toulouse Lautrec would use it. Oh, you know, yeah. back back in the Moulin Rouge days and all of that. I know. If you go to a museum and you ever see one of his paintings, they're so vibrant and they they capture that sort of ambiance. Just imagine the music that was playing. Oh it. my goodness, yeah, that's that is fun. You know, I've actually got a painting here of mine that music was a huge factor in. Yeah, it. yeah. Let me grab it. Oh my goodness, you know, so. Obviously, you know, there, there, there's a guitar in this painting. And if you're visually impaired, let me um, let me help you. It's kind of a big painting. <laughs> um, so if you're visually impaired, let me describe the painting really quickly. This is like a three feet by, by three foot painting. So it's a square. Over on the far left hand side is a woman's face. And it goes from about the top of the painting down to about the middle. And then over on the right hand side of the painting is, is an electric guitar. And what you notice first about this painting is the crazy amount of color the hair from this lady is whipping all over the the background of the painting and even going over the guitar a little bit and it's lots and lots of colors but what you may not know is that each of these colors is a different note whenever i hear music i see color it makes me think of different emotions and feelings and i try to put that into the painting so this is one way that you can capture sound and actually make it into a visual art yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, thanks so much for lifting that, sweetheart. <laughs> it's a bit of a workout today. <laughs> and, you know, we thought that maybe we, we would play around a little bit and actually try to make some visual art using sound. Yeah. And, it, and this is something that you can do at home. It's not hard at all. And it's actually it's actually a lot of fun. Yeah, it's just sort of a, an easy exercise to think outside the box when it comes to art. Yeah, and the, you know, one of the best parts about it is that there's no right or wrong about this. You can't mess it up. There is no mistakes. It's just about what it makes you feel. And you can put whatever you want down. But it, it's a great way to start thinking outside the box. Or if you ever have a block or you're ever, you know, unsure about what to, how to, 
work on a painting or a piece of art makes a nice way to get started. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to listen to some music. We're going to play some music. And I'm going to, just with a with a marker and a, um, a piece of cardstock, I'm just going to, you know, kind of let the music inspire me and draw lines and see what it turns into. Oh, this is great. And I get to put my speakers in this in this room to good use. Yeah, yeah. Let's get, <laughs> let's get started. All right. Let me start that. Okay, so I'm going to let the um, beats and the music just kind of take control. All right. I'm going to hit play on it. but I just let basically the music kind of control my lines. And so you can see here is, is that it, to me, the beat kind of created this almost like a uh, heart rhythm or fire. And so I imagined fire and it's layering. So, you know, at that point I was like, you know, what, what else can I put in here? And I was thinking, you know, there's a tree and as the beat changed, I put in like maybe a pathway cause the, it just, the lines, you know, my, it, you know, it just felt different. So again, it's just an exercise and, um, you know, you just kind of let the music and the beat take control. Yeah. You know, one of the great things about this is that, you know, like, like we were saying, there's no right or wrong. So that's really cool that you got the idea of fire and all that, because you know, that's, that's a different direction than I was thinking, which makes it so in interesting. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, the beat was, was, you know, it was a high beat and, um, I don't know, real energetic. So it made me think intensity. I'm, well, I'm curious what you would come up with with your own song. Well, you've inspired me. So um, I think what I'm going to do for um, is is I'm going to give this a try, but I'm going to use some paints and 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 put some color into it and just see what happens. All right, let's check right. it out. Okay. All right, I got all my art supplies laid out. I actually already have paint on the palette, so that's great. I've got I've got uh, my, my paper down. I've got a paintbrush. All that's left is to start the music. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, you know, one of the things that I really like is like a New Orleans type of jazz. It's just so happy, kind of sweet, and for me, yellow is sweet, so I'm going to put some yellow in here. Just bright, joyful, and kind of battle track, which is great because I'm going to go on that. I went a little bit more involved with it than I thought I was gonna. <laughs> I just got inspired by the music. But um, so this is really, really rough. But I don't know if you've ever been to Louisiana or the bayou, but you've got these trees that have the moss hanging down. And it's, mm -hmm. and it's just, I just love that. So I kind of was going for that just a little bit, just really quickly, then the music and all coming in. But regardless of how the painting turns out, it's a lot of fun. It's such a great way to experiment and just have fun with sound and turning it into visual art. I know, I love it, I love it. We, we obviously can tell who is the professional artist in this crowd. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than mine, but 
you know, mm -hmm. there is no wrong way to do this. You just listen to some music, see what inspires you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not only that, but when you go to a museum, look at the paintings and, and imagine what you're hearing in the scene that's that's be, that you're looking at, you know? Yeah, and just think of the sounds around us. You know, if you go outside and it's a quiet day, but then you hear a bird singing, you know, and it's just, it changes the entire environment. It's yes. just incredible. Yeah. So, you know, I know next week we're going to be talking about sight. That'll be fun. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. So be sure and join us and um, give it a try at home and see what you come up with. Thanks. Have, have fun, guys. <laughs>